Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Epoch. Today we're going to be talking about Forager. So in this video, I kind of want to explain to you how you can easily, or at least as easily as possible, complete one of the hardest challenges in Forager, and that is just completing the museum bundle. Now, when you go into this building after discovering it, then you can find this room with this pretty Indiana Jones lady. I think she's pretty. It's pixel, but I think she's pretty. And over here in the top right corner, you have the archaeology bundle. Now, this one is more difficult for it to collect. Yeah, but you know, in comparison to all the others, I think all of the others were a lot easier, except for the golden egg one here, which is also a very rare item to find. And, but I will be making a separate video for that one. But let's talk about the archaeology one. So let's press E, and here you can see I have completed all of them, and I have at least dozens of each of them in my vaults. Now let me explain to you how you can easily do this. So what we have is we have 10 uh, artifacts or relics or whatever they're called, and you can actually separate them in five by, well, categories because they're each depending on which biome you can find them. So how about um, future me will place a shard right now in front of you and here you can see them all more or less more clearly explained how you can find them. So as you can see there are two that you can find in the grass biome, two in the desert, two in the graveyard, two in the ice and two in the fire biomes. And you can only get one of each by either digging or fishing for it. Now digging is plainly just putting your shovel into the ground and finding uh, maybe a relic or an artifact or whatever you want to call it. And with fishing, well, there you have the option. Either you can fish with a fish rod, but I don't like that because that's boring as hell, in my opinion. Or you can just let fish traps do the work for you. So, yeah, but let's go a little bit more in depth on that and how you can improve your chances. Okay, so let's just start first with gear. Now, let me just show you my current gear. Now, this is a little bit spoiler heavy, so apologies if you haven't seen this one yet. So right now I have the robotic shovel. Now, as you can see, this is the highest version of shovel you can get in the game. You can also, well, digs always yield rare items. So that is great. So actually, if I just start digging right here, um, okay, after that one guy killed me. So I got some gold, I got sand, I got all kinds of things, bones, coal, and jewel. So I always get some stuff. But it also increases our chances to get more rare items like artifacts. Now, next part, let's talk about another piece of gear that might be also very useful. Now, this one is one you need to unlock to the skill tree, and these are the amulets. Now, the amulets actually give a very nice bonus. For everything you collect, you get multiple. Um, well, you got more than one from each dig or kill or mining or whatever you do. So when you find an artifact and you're wearing an amulet, then you will get more of them. Well, all kinds of stuff multiple times. And this also works for the artifacts. Now, I don't want to spoil too much, but the artifacts do play a major role, not only for, you know, collecting... Uh, for completing the museum, but also for certain recipes and for NPCs like this fella. This one guy wants at a certain point a dino egg, then, well, that is one of the artifacts you can only find by digging in the fire biome. So, like I said, just waiting till end game to get some upgrades for your gear really helps out a lot. So, as I said, getting the robotic shovel, which is the, you know, biggest upgraded shovel you can get, and also having the amulet already helps out a lot. But there are also a few other things. Like, for example, and this one is probably the most well-known one, the liquid luck. So this is kind of a potion that you can make and it will make everything, well, make it easier to find rare items. So this pretty much has the same effect as the shovel. Now, right now it's a little bit unclear if the two stack, but I think they do, but don't quote me on that one. But anyway, when you're hunting them, you might as well make a few of these, or you can buy them very cheaply from the market. That's actually how I got pretty much all of mine. And for the digging, well, we can also just go over some of the, well, easier tips. So mainly just making a lot of land like I have over here, so I have barely any water in this area. Graveyard biome, uh, now this is a very end game, but you know, just having more land to farm is always easier, and if you do 
want to farm a specific one, having some mining rods nearby, so you don't really have to destroy the environment constantly also helps out a lot. Those are very small tricks, but they do help. What I do also like to do is, for example, when I am mining, now I parked my companion somewhere, don't really know where, but yeah, anyway, you can see I can drop a lot of stuff. And, you know, picking them all up is kind of a hassle. So what you can do is either you can use the companion that you unlock through skill tree all the way to the left over here. And this is a companion. So this one has either a chicken, a dog or cat or two other options that I can't remember for the moment. I think it's a giraffe and last one kind of eludes me. But anyway, they will follow you and they will pick up all your loot. But which is even more effective are actually drones. Now drones are the well, companions that you can make from the factory or buy from the market themselves. And they have a lot of uses. They can defend you, they can collect your loot and also speed up buildings. Um, just by right clicking on one when you have one you know, following you around. But this guy is gonna pick up everything I can. Well, he doesn't do it very... Well, kinda depends whenever he wants to, to be honest. But you can have multiple of them and it goes even quicker. But they do help a lot. A lot. Now for the other ones, for the other relics that mainly depend on fishing, well personally I would just advise to just place some um, fish traps, like I did right here. They, they don't require that much at first, but as you keep building them, you see the price for the berries and the wood goes up quite drastically. So you do preferably need to have some of them, but oh well, they're not too expensive. Now I have four in each biome, and honestly if you don't like them, uh, for example, I have the fire biome over here and I don't really see the point of having water here. It doesn't kind of really fit with the biome in my opinion. Then you can just hide some water behind the towers, just like I did over here. And here you have some fishing traps. Then you basically can just go AFK, let the game run for a few hours while you're watching a movie or something. And before you know it, you have all kinds of artifacts, like I said. Now you just see my current collection I already have used all of them for my upgrades, for my missions, for my uh, recipes, for the museum bundle. So I don't really have a use for them anymore, but you know, as you can see, you can get them pretty easily. We're just using these tips. And as I said, the um, certain gear upgrades, like for example, the amulet helps out a lot. So when you find one, you immediately get four of them. Now I would love to see one of the relics drop while I'm making this video, but I will probably not be that lucky. So I'm still want to try. Come on. But yeah, guys, that is pretty much all of it. So as I said, just really try to uh, um, wait till end game. I know it's really fun to just get started immediately with collecting it. I pretty much was already doing it mid game at least. But honestly, it's just so much easier in add game when you have some upgraded gear, when you have more potions laying around, when you have more droids to pick your stuff up, more skills unlocked. It just helps out a lot. Now, before you go, I do really want to mention that you can also get the artifacts through this machine. So this is, um, I don't know what it's called officially, the slot machine. Yeah, go figure. And here you can get it sometimes, but honestly, it's very rare. I have played this machine a little bit and I still haven't seen an artifact, but apparently it can drop here. But honestly, I think it's just more of a time waste than a valid way to get it. Hey, there we go. I won. But yeah, guys, that was it for now. Thanks for watching to this guide. Let me know if you thought what you're thinking about it and how you're enjoying Forager. Guys, thanks for watching and until next time. See ya.